You're watching Fuse TV, Ian Zoyk FNAF here with Whoopso EE Volume 10. Obviously, aside from your own set here, what would have been some particular highlights for you this year? Any? We just saw a special Costello play and it was pretty rad. Yeah. It was very moving. Nice. Yeah, yeah. it was quite good. Have you tried the, the bacon hot dog? I have had a bacon hot dog, but not the one here. Oh, Do really? you recommend it? I, I've not had it. I just saw it. I oh. thought it was a, a tiny dog that was eviscerated inside of like a, a napkin. There's Are you talking about the soup can set that's about to happen? That's, oh. that's what it was. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay, hey perfect. Hey so, uh, bacon hot dog. no, I mean like once I start hearing them playing, I'm going to leave. <laughs> can you Yeah, what are we sitting on? What is this thing? We are sitting on a bus. It's a short bus. It's, it's been RV. converted to an RV for all you, uh, for all you uh, recreational um, people. Yeah, for all you campers out there. We got a view of the whole entire festival right now. This is pretty exceptional. Holy it moly. Really is. Yeah, it, it's just, it, it reminds me of what like Hillside was like when I was a kid. And uh, that's just a brilliant thing. It's, uh, they agree. They totally agree. Right? I think that any time that a solid community, especially like an art-based community around music or whatever, starts to happen, um, it sort of naturally does sort of create uh, like a, I guess an incestuous thing that happens where everyone's friends, everyone's bands, and I don't know, all I want to do with my friends is play music, so you meet people in the scene and then you start new projects, and I think that happens everywhere. It happens in Guelph, for sure. A lot of people are playing in everybody else's band. Most people have more than one project going on, and everybody kind of knows each other. So I can I can say that for sure of Guelph at least. I think having been across having been across the west coast and then back to the east coast again, we saw a lot of similarities in like the music scenes, like the small net group of people that support local music and out of town music and buy merch and go to the shows early on time and all that stuff. It's right. It's sparse, but it's also like it's happening. It's just underground still. It's a kind of, it's a good feeling to know that you can be welcomed in a country or in a country like hours away from your hometown. Sure, it's a good feeling for sure. And a highlight on the road, would you say? For me, it was the killer whales all the way. Oh yeah, straight up in Victoria, we saw the killer whales playing. That was amazing. There's a community that exists, and it, it's not always based on place, even though a lot of the time we focus on regionalism and, and place. And I, I think that it, I myself am like a pretty big proponent of, you know, your, your own community needs to be strong so that, you know, you can send people away with right. tools or with um, some, some knowledge or something like that, but at the same time, welcome people to your community. And that's exactly what we're looking for right. in different places. And they, they pop up all over the place, places like Fredericton and Quebec City, Ottawa, you know, it's kind of, you know, there's, there's lots of different little places like that, that um, kind of make you, make you feel welcome, make it possible for you to kind of live and travel on a bus and, and still be sane because it's uh, it's not always that easy.